Hi, how's it everyone? My name is Plaxorfall and we're back again for more prehistoric planet Stanosaur. And today's video will be the Nanoxaurus. While this video is not made by myself, I got help from a friend on Discord who liked to share his thoughts about Nanoxaurus. Please allow me to credit Elosaur fan for kindly sharing his opinions as you will hear what he says about prehistoric planets Nanoxaurus. So Nanoxaurus is a Ternosaurid from late Cretaceous. It was lived on what is now Alaska, although they are smaller than Ternosaurus rex, but close to Albertosaurus and Gorgosaurus. I will cite from Elosaurus' opinion that in working with Tannosaur Prehistoric Planet 3D, the depiction of Gorgosaurus was incorrectly named Nanoxaurus. Kinda coincidental, he says. Despite of the cold and snowy environment, Nanoxaurus believed to cover it with feathers to keep them warm. That's the reason why it means polar bear lizard. But in prehistoric planet, the Nanoxaurus are designed very well. It's so accurate with the base skeletons and feathers covered their body. Allosaur fan also mentioned in his opinion that how he really likes the white feathers as how he pictured the dinosaur and the portrayal is up to date from time and location to its behavior and overall appearance. Probably the best polar dinosaur he ever seen in movies and TV shows so far. Like many other Tyrannosaurids, Nanoxaurus is a pack hunter, so they moving and hunting in a small group. Despite of the dark of the time and snowy calamities would make difficult to see. Nanoxaurus probably one of many dinosaurs that had good vision. They are likely adapted to the surrounding to how keep them survive. So Nanoxaurus would have a very good vision to see in low light conditions. We both agree that Nanoxaurus very adapt to the environments. Thanks for watching, give it a like if you found it really informative. We will have more videos coming up, so subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss any video. And I will see you next time, auf Wiedersehen.